in this community, we talk a lot about mental wellness and stories of hope and um, perspective. And I wanted to bring in a conversation around money, specifically um, what happens when you want to experience something and money doesn't allow you the freedom to do that because you don't have enough of it. Um, it doesn't erase the intention. It doesn't erase the dream. It's just the reality that you can't do something and how that plays on your heart and how that um, becomes its own um, sort of atmosphere you have to live in, an atmosphere perhaps of disappointment, which could lead to a little self-loathing, like why didn't I create this account, amount of abundance for my life so that I can do these things um, for myself or for other people? And I wanted to, I guess, uh, riff on this a bit and then ask you about your relationship to money, specifically to your mental health around the stories we tell ourselves. Um, I think in my life, sometimes I wanted to do something specifically to maybe surprise somebody to take a trip with somebody or to take a trip to visit somebody. And I don't have enough to actually do what I want to do. So I don't get to be that person and I don't get to create that experience. And I, I, I say that's life and I give it up, but I also sit with the disappointment of what could have been and my relationship to that disappointment um, is to allow myself to feel it and then to let it go. Um, because there's nothing worse than thinking that if I had all this money, I'd have a different life. I think we can create so much abundance without uh, the dollar signs attached to everything we choose to desire or to do. What's your relationship to money and how does it um, relate to your, um, I guess, benevolence towards yourself, your self-love. How do you control those ideas that you shoulda, coulda, woulda, but you didn't?